What up, Hard Squad? Today, I'm opening Pop Series 5 packs in search of two of the absolute rarest Gold Star Pokemon cards, Umbreon and Espeon, with the Umbreon potentially worth $30,000 at PSA 10 level. But for today's video, those same Pop Series 5 packs that I'm opening up were actually purchased recently from a massive collection that I purchased from a former Pokemon company in Wizards of the Coast employee that not only did I purchase some incredibly rare items, I actually showcased never before seen playtest Pokemon cards in a video just as recent as yesterday. So if you would like to go check out all of those fun items and videos, please do so. They will be in the description on the front page of my channel. But to today's video, I'll be opening up two Pop Series 5 packs in an attempt to get the Umbreon and Espeon Gold Star. On the inside of each pack are only a couple cards, so my chances are extremely slim with each Pop Series 5 pack coming in at a lofty $600 at least per Pop Series 5 pack. You can't weigh these packs because there's no shininess or hollow foil on any of the gold stars, which I'm, you know, excited about. But to make it even worse, the approximate odds of pulling one of the gold stars are 1 in 40 packs. Yeah, this is going to be tough. However, the Pop Series packs, if we do pull a gold star, the reward is extremely high. The packs you are about to see open were not sold before the video. I am taking the ultimate risk with the only Pop Series 5 packs I have left in my collection to go after those two gold stars. If you want to know more, quickly about Pop Series Pack, it stands for Pokemon Organized Play, released in the early and mid 2000s to help get people to back to the leagues during a time when Pokemon wasn't the most exciting. Uh, not many as people were collecting again. Obviously, it's different these days and it's in a much, much better state. However, the packs you will see opened were some of them given out in basically the rarest. And finally, we are also on a mission today. A mission to pull a Golden Snorlax and a Full Art Moltres from the newest Pokemon set, Chilling Rain, which this weekend has finally officially come out. So without further ado, I will be showcasing right now the two Pop Series packs that we will be opening up. Just comes with two additional cards, very light, just so you can see. And from my knowledge, I mean, these are sealed as from the Wizards employee that I introduced yesterday in yesterday's video. Uh, we'll see what we can do. I'd also like to say, as I begin opening up the box of the hour when it comes to those newer cards that we'll be trying to go for today, Happy Father's Day! I believe this video will be posted on Happy Father's Day, so I wish everybody a Happy Father's Day. And without further ado, let us get into the opening. At random point in this video, we will get into both respective Pop Series 5 packs. It's time for the Lean Heart Trademark Patent at Guess the Energy, Psychic Energy. Uh, I've had more recently better pulls. There's also a Caitlyn, I mean, there's so many cards to pull in this incredible set, Chilling Rain. So hopefully this booster box of Chilling Rain will give us some good stuff. I, uh, I think it was on Thursday, no, excuse me, it was this previous Tuesday of this same week. I opened up my best Leaf Energy. I opened up my best box of Chilling Rain. Like, it's a box that actually came with everything that a box of Chilling, like a, like just a generic booster box should come with. Broly from Dragon Ball Super. Beautiful. I have not pulled this one yet, so I'll take it absolutely. This doesn't really look like a Pokemon card, the artwork. It's really interesting looking, but I'll take it. So, uh, I, you know, and by generic, I don't mean like bad. It was the most exciting box because it had a secret rare. It had a full art trainer. It had a gold secret rare trainer card. It had the hyper rare leaf energy. Yeah, patch on back. 
it basically had everything that a box in full arts galore that you can want. Tapu Fini the Morning was uh, just a reverse rare, so not bad there. But um, I'm excited, you know, I'm excited for the, you know, the, the packs that I got in the collection video, Psychic Energy, was first, I mean, you, you've probably, hopefully you've seen the video. I mean, I just did it to, like, the past two videos were showcasing the collection, including the never-before-seen playtest cards, never-before-seen Pokemon cards uh, that were originally used to help determine how the cards would, you know, the, inf the information on it. Wait, Celebi VMAX, how you doing? Uh, I showcased those in yesterday's video, actually. So if you'd like to go see, uh, you know, some of the, you know, how they actually made the Pokemon cards and stuff and actual, like, tangible physical cards that I have now, Lightning Energy, uh, of what they used to use when making the Pokemon cards and the information on them, go check out yesterday's video. It was very exciting. Cast form, Larvesta, Cotton Candy, and a Tapu Boy Meets World Feeny. So... Lots of top of the mornings right now. I think for video purposes, I probably in the near future, I'm gonna get into the first pack. Now, I know it's like lightning energy. It's like, I know it's only two packs. That's literally all that I have left in my collection. Uh, if you would like to go see a full video as Doug Trio, uh, I did a full video of opening up every pop series pack uh, this 2020, just this past year, at the end of it, actually, I think it was like November or December. Uh, I'll post the picture on screen right now in, of the title and video, so you can go watch it to get not only uh, see me opening up, including more Pop Series Five packs, but every one and more information on each of the sets, including best cards from each of those sets. Lightning Energy. Um, that video was exciting because you know I opened those all up, but it was all for charity. I gave those cards to a lucky person. Uh, you know that out there when we were raising money for mental health awareness. So Agatha Christie I wish I could be more excited about this, but we've already pulled Agatha Christie. So uh, it's nice and Creepy at the same time. Just imagine that looking at yeah, but so there we go uh, pulls have been so far uh, You know not looking at what they are exactly that didn't really make sense. The Brawly is very nice. Agatha not so much, but it's still a secret rare. It's still a hyper rare, so I'm very happy about that. Fighting energy, especially for just K, Karen. Especially just for how, you know, making sure we get the, I guess, the quote-unquote generic pulls of a video. Rillaboom reverse rare, and another Celebi with the exact same artwork on the VMAX. All right, my friends. It's time for the first pop. Move this out of the way. First. Pop Series 5 pack, just so you can see it once again. I believe that this is sealed, man. I know this is gonna go by really, really quick. But like I said before, going after the two gold stars, Espeon, around 12,000, PSA 10, ungraded, still goes for thousands, just like the Umbreon, tens of thousands of dollars, PSA 10, several thousands of dollars, ungraded. Not have either for my collection. So, before we begin to help support the video, consider subscribing to the channel, especially if you like these crazy rare openings like this and fun openings, doing it every week. And of course, leave a like on this video. Let's get to 5,000 likes for Series 5. All right, Heart Squad, let us begin. Oh, by the way, there's also, I know, I know, I know. Gotta hype it up a little bit more, if it wasn't already. There are some rare cards. There's a, a Lugia, Bird is the Word, and of course, a Mew are rare cards. I don't think they're hollow. There's no hollows in this set, but here we go. Uh, okay. Hopefully I didn't just spoil it, but here we go. Will this be worth it? No, okay. Hey, there we go. A Pikachu. Not bad. And rare candy. It's like the new, uh, my new auction platform. It's a good plug. Rare candy, go to rarecandy.com everybody. Sign up, it's free. This is awesome. I know I just wasted $600 at least on this pack. However, getting some good PR for rare candy. Go to rare candy everybody, rarecandy.com. <laughs> Please. <sighs> oh gosh, all right, so that was one. We still have another. We still have another. It went by so fast. It went by too fast. All right, that's okay. 
I will, I will take it. When I was looking at the set list before Fighting Energy, I was like, oh yeah, there is a rare candy card. That would be a fun one to pull, and we just pulled it. But uh, yeah, for people that don't know, I'm starting a auction platform slash... Uh, it's an initial marketplace at the beginning. It's not going to be like an eBay-ish type of thing. However, that's the main goal is because I want to create a trustworthy, safe place for uh, people to come get, you know, Pokemon cards, especially for the auction platform purposes, fighting energy. That's more of a place that's just trustworthy and sell worthy for buyers and sellers. And of course, providing content around all of what happens, the action with the auctions for, you know, for you, just, you know, anyone out there that wants to be part of the action. That's what's going to be fun about rare candy. And it's just the amount, the, the amount, I feel like a card. It, wait, wait, watch this guys. That's interesting. That that happens. I've seen it happen several times in my videos, but hey, fire energy. But I, I hope that, you know, y'all go sign up uh, and, you know, when it launches, which is going to be very soon, there will be lots and lots of vintage unweighed packs that you will get a chance to get. Um, you know, everybody will. And the prices will be very, very competitive and better. Lightning energy, so I'm very excited about that. And the main thing is, you know, it's gonna be a safe place to go. You don't have to worry about resealed packs, people weighing packs, all that other jazz, because, you know, it'll have the Leonhart stamp of approval on it all. And so I'm excited for Rare Candy. Definitely go check it out, rarecandy.com, lightning energy. And I like that it's the free press because of the card we pulled. Technically not really because I paid a lot for these packs, but that is okay. That is, you know, what it's all about is just taking that risk. That's what makes this that much more exciting, hopefully for you, as it is myself, because I'm nervous. Uh, fire energy, but away we go. Haunter, Melanie, Porygon, Brookie, Mareep, Rockruff, Agatha again, and Blissey. I still have yet to pull lots of the alternate arts. Not that Blissey has one, it has a nice full art, but it's just reminding me of like Tornadus, which has a nice alternate art, Blaziken, uh, Fighting Energy. Yeah, Pat's on back. We did pull, we did pull a alternate art for Galarian Slowking in a video uh, about a week and a half ago or so, maybe two weeks by now. And that was beautiful. It was my first alternate art that I pulled in the set. Let's not forget the Knight Rider and Shadow Rider, uh, Calyrex's Fighting Energy. Both of them have beautiful, including the Ice King, Calyrex, has probably the best, uh, wait, wait, oh, Lycanroc. They probably have the best uh, alternate art. I'm sorry, I'm getting confused. It's the one where it's, maybe that's the Knight, I think it's the Knight one, because it's at night. Fighting Energy probably makes more sense. Uh, anyway, there's also the, it's the Ice Rider one, alternate art is the one where it's walking through the ravine. Yeah, I'm just getting confused. Sorry, it happens. However, they're both beautiful, and those are, well, not as exciting as the Full Art Moltres, or of course the Golden Snorlax, which I mainly want. Um, I am, those are basically right after those two cards. So, it's a mission for those four cards. Uh, Metal Energy, yeah, Pat's on back. Me likey, me likey. Path to the Peak, Scorbunny, Diglett, Galette, Bambi, Sneeze, Whirlipede, and a Spirit Tomb. Uh, I believe this scrunched up pack over here. Hopefully there's nothing good in it. No, it should be fine. Uh, is the final pack of the first half of this box. Four cards, Psychic Energy. And away we go, Lucky Energy, Falafi, Scorbunny, Snowrunt, Venipede, Snover, Slowpoke, Thwacky, Metacross VMAX! It's a VMAX, I know, I should be happy about it. It's just, it's a very common one, just like Celebi VMAX. Not that there's too many out there, it's just with all the other cards that we could be pulling, Fire Energy, those are not the ones that, you know, I wanna keep on pulling. There's lots of it, like I'm happy with the Brawly Full Art Trainer, cause that's something I haven't pulled yet. So it's exciting, but odds are with this box, I know we pulled the Agatha Christie Hyper Rare, uh, but we should potentially get a secret rare, um, fighting energy, a secret rare trainer, and that could be the golden Snorlax. So, which is the main thing I want. Larvesta, Salzbuck, wait, Lipard V. Well, it's one of the very, very few other than the Celebi ultra rares that we have pulled today. So, uh, 
I guess I'll, I'll, I'll take that. We have pulled that one before, though. So, four cards, lightning energy. I can't believe I already opened up a Pop Series 5-pack. Like, it's fine that we didn't pull anything, to be completely honest, just because, you know, hopefully this is fun content for y'all. Uh, and the fact that I'm not making my money back whenever I open up vintage packs, which is every single week. However, uh, you know, I'm always... Basically, what I'm doing is using all the resources that, that I have, that I make, any money that I do make, fighting energy. Um, of course, I'm saving a little just for my family purposes, but I'm literally putting it all back into the community and into my content, especially with videos that are all the openings that I've been doing. Um, it's kind of like, I guess you can say in a way, it's like I try to, you know, utilize all what I can, uh, fire energy, to make my videos and content just, you know, one, I try to be original with my content, uh, you know, kind of set the trends. And two, I just want to do something that I think, one, I obviously have fun with, or it's not going to come off as genuine, but I think stuff that you would, you know, enjoy as well. Uh, and I started, you know, I'm trying to be uh, fighting energy, more creative with my videos. Last weekend, uh, I, in last week, I did, you know, a couple of videos in the weekend, which I put extra effort into the creativity with them. They didn't perform as well, because honestly, I think there's something going on with the uh, algorithm right now. However, um, you know, it usually happens at this time with it being summer. So, you know, people are off. So the algorithm kind of switches around, but it always, or hopefully will this time, leaf energy. Yeah, that's all back. It usually will come back, uh, you know, it comes back around eventually. Um, but, you know, I'm just trying to step it up with the creativity. So I would, if you have not already, please go watch the one, the thumbnails me with the boxing match. It's like uh, world's biggest Pokemon battle or 2021 is the name of that video. Uh, definitely go watch at least, you know, the intro or something like that. Cause uh, Leaf Energy, I did put a lot of work into that video uh, the whole way through, not just the intro, uh, you know, and it was a lot of fun. Gets to be my creative self as much as I can while opening up shiny cardboard like this. All right. This is the last pack before getting into the next Pop Series 5 pack, Leaf Energy. There we go, it's a patch on back, a little bit of good luck right there, I would say. Expedition Uniform, The Hats, Venipede, Ralts, Sweetie, Tomb. All right, clear the area. Sounds like a musical. All right, final Series 5 pack. Earlier we pulled Rare Candy, go to rarecandy.com. But this is it. Last chance to get Espeon and Umbreon Gold Star. I do not have any more Pop Series 5 packs in my collection after this. You know, I'm saying it just like Millie Nilly, because hopefully in the future I'll get more, but they're just, you know, very expensive packs, and rightfully so, with the beautiful cards that they have on the inside. But here we go. Let's uh, gently go like this. All right. Try. I go from the top, it tries to uh, save the pack art. And, oh my gosh! Would you look at that? It's another plug for Rare Candy, I'm serious. RareCandy.com, everybody. Please go check it out. Actually, go check it out. Go check it out. Go check it out. All right, thank you. Well, whatever happens, we're opening up some more Chilling Rain after this to, you know, wet my whistle. And it's... A Zangoose! Rare Candy Go! Please! Have mercy on me! It's okay. It's okay. Why am I saying it's okay? Because honestly, I'm a crazy man as we get into some more Chilling Rain packs. I, but most importantly, I have an amazing, amazing, kind audience. Fighting energy that loves watching me go crazy, trying to pull the craziest cards in the Pokemon world. Ghastly, Kobolion, and the Slowking. To be honest, I wanted to open those up. I really do hope, while it was only two cards per pack, I do hope, Lightning Energy, that you did have a lot of fun with not just those packs, but the Chilling Rain packs that we opened up today. Cast Form, Melody, uh, but you know, that's what it is. I wanted to take a chance with all of the packs that I have and risk it to try to get those. I have not pulled those, either of them, Fighting Energy. Um, 
No, I don't. I don't even have them in my collection anymore. Both of those gold stars. I'm not two spheels. Um, I'm more of a sealed Pokemon card collector. I know that's weird because I open up stuff, but I mean, I also have a big sealed collection. So I'm not gonna open up everything, a lightning energy or most of my stuff. Um, however, you know, I'm constantly just wanting to put out some fun content for y'all. So cash form, and that includes opening up Pop Series 5 packs. If you'd like to go see more Pop Series packs, including all of them open, do go check out that video where I was showcasing all of the packs uh, last year, Lightning Energy. But we just have a few more packs to get it into of this Chilling Rain booster box, cast form, and Gengar going up the stairs. We have three. Uh, this Overall, this box is okay. Um, I mean, I, I still think we should get another full art or something. Uh, fighting Energy, and I don't, we, we pulled like two ultra rares, like regulars in this box. Snover, Yamash, Kafifi, Shoop, there it is, and, well, there's the other ultra rare, Shadow Rider Calyrex V. Not bad, so it's Shadow Rider is the one, the alternate art where it's jumping over the house. That's like the best alternate art, other than the Moltres, of course, but in any case, Fighting Energy, second to last pack. Fog Crystal, Scorbunny, Snow Runt, Venipede, Snover, Malamar, Slurpuff. Once again, as we get into the final pack, please leave a like, consider subscribing to the channel, join the Hard Squad. I appreciate y'all. There will be more fun, exciting videos coming up this week, four videos a week, Psychic Energy, every Tuesday. Say it with me, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, one central. Uh, uh, just kidding, you can say the rest. All right. Crabroller and a Scoliopede. All right, Hard Squad. You want more of those videos that I was talking about? They're right there. Go click on them right now. My name is Lane Arts Downs from Stay Positive, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.